Hey guys, DV here. We've got another uh, Lightworks editing tutorial. This is part of our in depth series on Lightworks editing. Our last tutorial dealt with cutting within Lightworks. As you can see, we have the different cuts here that we've made for you, edited and moved footage around uh, within our timeline. And now the next step, of course, is going to be to obviously add some effects to the videos. Now, Lightworks uh, includes or features several different effects that can be used, including some saturation, color correction, and then some other general effects. So you can see here I have my opening or introduction here, which I made in After Effects, and I'm actually quite happy with it. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not going to add any effects to that. However, my next scene, you can see, was shot in the snow, so it's very bright. As you can see, the colors kind of got a little washed out. Now, the T2i this happens on, and I have a very specific uh, way I go about uh, color correcting my footage within Vision Lab and After Effects, but I thought, you know what, I might as well give it a try within Lightworks Beta. So what I can do... I start, I go to the very beginning of that clip, right on the timeline, right about there. That's right at the start of my clip. Go down here to the bottom of the timeline, select effects, the effects tab, and then you go up here and you can select the different uh, effects that you want to deal with. So the keying, of course, some uh, mixes, which are transitions, t titles, but I wanna, I'm dealing with color right now, some color correction. So I click on color, you can see there's a number of different effects you can uh, you can change a little bit, but I want to select the first color correction method because it gives me a, different, a bunch of different uh, things I can change, some different elements and such. Now, the important part that you want to deal with right before you get started on the effect is where you want the region to be included. So you could do from here, which is going to start the effect right here and continue it 96 frames that way, or 8, 12, 16, multiples of whatever, I guess multiples of 8, or not 8, 4 maybe. Yeah, I believe it's four. But regardless, um, or you could use uh, centered here or two here, whatever you want to do with that. And if I click out of that, go ahead and click on add. Once I've changed the settings, I turn these colors on. And then if I come down here, I can adjust the shadows a little bit. I want to bring that up and that over there a little bit. Now, this is, of course, going to be different depending on your um, individual video clip, but this is the settings I'm using right at the moment. And some highlights, and then if I come down here, I can change the saturation, or lower it, or actually raise it just a little bit. These are very minor selections, but they obviously make a great difference once your video is done. Now if I bring the contrast down just a little, and then bring the brightness um, down a little bit, and then the gain can go up. Okay. Actually, I'll leave that just about the same. I added a little bit to it. And now at the bottom here, you can see that there's this thing for keyframing, which is something that Vision Lab, ah, where did that go? That Vision Lab and After Effects make great deal of use of, and it's very convenient in those programs, so there's no reason that it shouldn't be in this program as well. So you can see, of course, we had, that our, we had our change, our changes for the effect, and this little timeline here for the keyframes will only include this 96 frame um, window. It won't include the rest of the timeline, which you can obviously see if you go down here. It gets right to the edge of our uh, grading, I guess you could call it. Now, if you wanted to adjust the settings so that once it got to, say, like the middle of the video clip, like right about here, you wanted it to start becoming darker. What you could do is you could add a keyframe here, and then you could go up and adjust the brightness and you could bring that down a little bit or whatever you wanted to do and that is going to do is make your clip darker at that one specific point and it'll gradually get darker as you approach that one point um, within your video clip so you could do that but I think I'm just going to leave it like this because it actually looks pretty good so when I'm finished I'm going to go ahead and click close or click the X at the top of that effects window just open that back up and um, basically we have our color correction right there it looks a little bit better and then you could do the same kind of thing for some of these other clips as well like for this one that would be perfect is making some kind of color correction there or even a color tint could look pretty good so what I could do is find a good color tint that works for me and let's see don't want it to be that quite that intense but actually that looks pretty nice 
uh, right about there looks pretty good. It's kind of, it's more of a, I don't know what you call it, more grayed out. Um, it looks a little bit more realistic, a little bit darker, because this is kind of a dark stage of the film, which you'll see. And um, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that like that. And then I have the rest of my video here, which we cut in the last tutorial. I'm going to leave that pretty much alone, I think. I don't think I need to do any real grading with that. I mean, I could do a little bit of color correcting here, but those colors are actually pretty decent, except for the sky. But that's something that I'd use Vision Lab or After Effects to do kind of a sky replacement, which is easy because it's all kind of washed out. But regardless, that's pretty much effects within uh, Lightworks. I mean, if you went over and did the effects tab, there's some different ones that you could choose, including like some perspectives. You could do a flip, uh, a flop, um, which I guess would flip it horizontally. Let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, there you go. It does a horizontal flip. And you have the keyframe options down at the bottom here as well. And yeah, so anyway, um, there's a bunch of different effects. You can explore that a bit more um, when you have some free time or whatever. But I And you can split the screen, whatever. Um, I like the effects, though, within Lightworks. There's a bunch of different options. And I think that there might be a way to import Premiere uh, effects packages into Lightworks, but I'm not entirely sure. And I'll get back to you on that one. But hopefully these tutorials are helping you a little bit. Hopefully this gives you a, bit, a little bit more of an idea of what you're doing. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you next time.